Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Catherine with a K and I hope that you enjoy this video. Today's video we'll be talking about different YouTubers that I enjoy and YouTubers that helped inspire me to start my own YouTube channel. So, in no particular order, YouTuber number one, Jessica Kelgan Fozard. Jessica is a YouTuber from Brighton. She suffers with a few different chronic illnesses and disabilities. What I like about her is that she's very open and honest about it. She tells through her videos her life in general really about having these different problems and how she copes with them and how she still enjoys her life with the things that she can do along with her wife Claudia and their two beautiful dogs Walter and Tilly so a lot of fluffy cuteness is going on there but she doesn't just talk about her disabilities she's a very very vintage girl she does a lot of videos about her about her style her hair and makeup she does tutorials for them very easy to follow and also she does videos about her, about herself being a gay woman and many different aspects of the LGBTQ plus community which I I'm, I'm, I am not a part of that community myself but I do love those videos she's done many different collabs about various different things mainly LGBTQ plus and disability related videos and sometimes she's even given her colleagues uh, cute little vintage makeovers which are fabulous at the end and recently she's been doing a lot of historical profiles um, people who are queer or disabled or even both she's very very entertaining and very factual so you do learn a lot about things that maybe you didn't know before about certain people or even people that you didn't realize were gay so she's so fun to watch. I actually found her channel by accident. What had happened was I was doing a BSL course, which if you're not familiar with means British Sign Language. Uh, I was doing this course and I knew a few signs, I knew some basic signs, but I wanted to develop it a bit more before I started so I didn't look like a complete idiot. So I found one of her videos, she was doing a sign into a song, Happy. Because I'm happy. I'm not going to do the full thing. And I watched it and I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot and I watched a few more of those videos. And then I went onto her channel and found all the different content. And as somebody who suffers with a chronic illness, she was somebody that I, that I would look up to and would get inspiration from. And I just love watching her. And she's such... A bright bubbly personality to watch and I would recommend if you're watching her videos she I'm sure you'll love it so I will put a link of her channel in the description along with the every other youtuber that I talk about today youtuber number two Evan Edinger Evan is a, an American youtuber who came to London to do his master's degree in mathematics and has stayed here ever since. Obviously you must love the city. I found Evan uh, I found Evan actually by accident like like with Jessica. Um, I was just messing around on YouTube and I saw his video uh, British versus America food. So he compares food from the UK and from America with different people and I actually really enjoyed it. I found him really really funny. And so I watched another one of his videos, and another, and I checked his channel, and he does a lot of different content. His British vs America is one of my favourites to watch. So he's covered a range of different topics from government, food, money, taxes, and recently baby names. <laughs> it was quite fun to watch. Usually he does this with another with a British person so he has the British side of things and he has the American side of things and it's very very light-hearted and entertaining and 
Evan is well known for throwing in a, a pun or two. Not sometimes for. <laughs> he does a lot of different series. Another one of his is Spill the Tea, which is just us usually it's him with somebody else, or sometimes on his own they'll have a cup of tea, they'll just chat about also Evan what's does happening have recently. another channel, um, a travel channel. He has been to so many different places. I've actually lost count of the amount of countries he's been to. But he, but in these vlogs, he talks about what he does, all the different sites that he's seen, all the activities that he does. Also, he does a lot of YouTube conventions. He's been to VidCon in LA. He's been to Playlist Live in Florida and somewhere in the city in the UK. And he vlogs all this. And he. You can just tell that he has so much fun with it and with his friends. But Evan, like Jessica, does sometimes talk about things that are quite difficult. He talks very openly about his own mental health and how sometimes, some days, he has bad days with it. And like anybody like myself who does suffer with their mental health can certainly empathise with him. And it's it's so nice to actually see somebody talking to thousands and thousands of people about things that sometimes carry a stigma with them and it's very very brave of him and I really do hope that more people follow suit and I will certainly be doing videos about my mental health and my struggles with that in the future so I would completely recommend checking out his channel he He's one of my favourite YouTubers and it was actually one of his videos that inspired me to start my own channel. He says, look, you're going to be bad at the beginning and that's okay, just take your time, learn as much as you can and the more you do, the better you'll become. And that's actually when in anything that you do really. So thank you Evan for that good advice and this is a result of it. I hope you like what you see. YouTuber or YouTubers number three, Chris and Eve. Now I found Chris and Eve because when I was getting my two cats, Bella and Leo, I never had cats before and although I had been reading books about how to look after cats, I thought it'd be really, really nice to see it first hand so when I found Chris and Eve that was the original thing I was looking for. So when they adopted their cats, Turbo and Jet, who I believe are British short hairs, they are absolutely beautiful and adorable to watch. You know, they talked a lot about about how they they looked after them, about you know tips on on food, on playing, on litter, all sorts of different things, and they were such a cute, cute family to watch. But they don't just talk about the cats. They are how I would describe as life vloggers. They just vlog their everyday lives, you know, when they go on holiday to different meals that they're trying because Eve is vegan, so different vegan meals, um, home improvements. And recently, well, not recently, last September in 2019, they had a beautiful, beautiful baby girl, Rose. So now they talk about parenthood and what it's like to have their first baby. Which is nice because there'll be a lot of new time parents that can look at their channel and their videos with little Rose. And you know just see that they're, you know, they're not the only ones dealing with a new baby. They can get tips from them and Chris and Eve themselves even say, oh, if you've got any advice for this and that, then please leave them in the comments, which I think is lovely because they're reaching out to other parents saying, well, we don't know everything, but if you have any ideas about this particular subject, then then please get, get in touch. And other people can read them comments as well. And it's, it's this nice little community that they've built up, which I think is absolutely lovely. And um, they're so cute. I know I keep saying the word cute, but they are absolutely a cute little family to watch. It just It's one of those videos that just makes you smile. If you're having a bad day and you watch one of their videos, it just... You can't help but bring a smile to your face. And that's, that's another thing that I love so much about watching Chris and Eve. So do check out their channel. Um, you won't be disappointed if you if you love cats and adorableness, then check them out. 
and my ne uh, YouTube channel number four is Kitten Lady. Kitten Lady, aka Hannah Shaw, is an American animal activist and foster carer for, as you guessed, kittens. But she has taken other babies on. She's she's fostered pigs and she's fostered puppies. Hannah's videos is a lot of them is a um, how-to video, you know, how to look after particularly neonates, newborn babies who are orphans, they don't have a mother, about how to how to feed them, how to help them go to the toilet, weaning, litter training, everything that mother cats do with, with their litters. And also she has taken on some difficult cases as well. Um, recently she's just had a, a little a little kitten who was born with two legs and the problems that he's faced but has overcame because her and her organisation, Often Kitten Club, invest so much into learning about kittens that have um, that have different problems that unfortunately people don't know much about because if they've got a problem that they don't know they get euthanized so little James has thrived and is now looking for his forever home because of these incredible people and not, and not only has she dealt with James but she's had Chloe a paralyzed kitten from with her back legs paralyzed so she couldn't walk on her back legs she's had Apple with swimmer syndrome where her back legs are sprayed out and, and how they've managed to get her to walk properly again. They're such incredible stories and oh my god you just invest so much in into these kittens and you want them to do so well and that's what I find incredible. Hannah is also an author, she's written two books, she's written Tiny But Mighty um, a book uh, that involves a lot of, again, how-to, so very much what her videos tell you. And also she's thrown in um, a few stories about how she started Kitten Rescue and about the kittens that she's saved. And also she's done a children's book, teaching children how, you know, if they are involved in foster care, about how and why they need certain things doing. and. I just love that. It's such an incredible thing that she's done. She's inspired so many other people to foster as well and she inspired me to foster. Me and Paul last year fostered a kitten called Walter. We got him when he was 12 weeks old and he left us to his forever home when he was 20 weeks old and now he's doing extremely well and I feel such joy knowing that I was part of that. Hannah does also teach us about letting go and saying goodbye to the kittens that we look after because you do fall in love with them. You do invest and put so much effort into making sure that they get everything that they need. And it was hard letting saying goodbye to Walter but I knew that I had to do it so that he could be happy in his new home with his new family and his new brothers. And I think if it hadn't have been for her, I wouldn't have been able to deal with that as well as I did. Hannah also does express the sad side of rescue. You know, even with the best of carers, she has lost kittens. And she expresses how she deals with grief and she gives you tips on how to deal with that unfortunately it's it does happen you know no matter how much effort you put into saving these little lives unfortunately sometimes they're not viable and sadly sadly letting them go and giving them peace is what's best for them and I think that she that she's a very very brave individual for sharing that with us and to help us deal with our own grief when when we do look after these vulnerable vulnerable babies I really hope you check Hannah's channel out 
if you are an animal lover or if you are a foster carer or if you're thinking of fostering cats or any other animals then you will learn a lot from Hannah. She is an incredible human being and I think that you will love her channel just as much as I do. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video today. I will be leaving all the links to the YouTubers I've mentioned today in the description below. So, I, so do check them out and I'm sure that you'll enjoy them. And I hope to see you next week. I will be doing a review on the Royal Opera House's The Sleeping Beauty, which has started airing today, and you can catch that till the 7th of August. I do recommend that it, it is, is a beautiful, beautiful ballet, and I can't wait to share it with you. So, I'll see you next week. Bye!